it should come as no surprise that China is the world green tea exporter and that the United States is the leading importer of green tea. And I think that's for good reason because various studies have revealed that drinking green tea at least three cups a day is associated with a lower risk of heart disease, which is the leading cause of death in America. Drinking green tea is also associated with a lower risk of endometrial cancer and ovarian cancer as well. But what about green tea helping diabetes, which as it stands now is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States? In this paper, researchers followed almost 5,000 men and women who had type 2 diabetes for five years. It was noted that not only did drinking green tea and coffee reduce their overall risk of death, but that drinking both green tea and coffee together appeared to be better than either one by themselves, reducing the overall risk of dying by a whopping 63%. So that's good news if you have diabetes and you like the taste of both coffee and green tea. They may work better together. Here is an interesting, albeit small study, where 14 people were given a meal that contained either 10 ounces of water or 10 ounces of green tea. It was reported that drinking green tea, while it didn't lower glucose or insulin levels, it did improve satiety and make people not want to eat more food. Now, this study was too short to notice any weight loss effects, which could definitely improve diabetes symptoms. So if you have tried green tea drinking for weight loss, let me know what happened in the comments below. In this paper, researchers followed about 17,000 people who were green tea drinkers and who did not have diabetes and followed them for five years to see what happened when they checked back. They reported that both green tea and drinking coffee, those people had a lower risk of getting diabetes. More specifically, those who drank six or more cups of green tea a day had a 33% lower chance of getting diabetes compared to those who drank less than one cup of green tea a day. Here is the effects of green tea on glucose control and insulin sensitivity. This is a meta-analysis of 17 previous green tea studies involving over a thousand people. And the conclusions here was that drinking green tea could significantly reduce both fasting blood sugar and hemoglobin A1C levels. And while that's good, unfortunately, researchers were not able to determine the optimum amount of green tea needed to lower blood sugar and hemoglobin A1C levels. So what about decaffeinated green tea? Is caffeine needed for green tea to be effective for diabetes symptoms? Well, apparently it's not if we're talking about fasting blood sugar levels. In that case, it didn't matter if you drank caffeinated green tea or decaffeinated green tea, blood sugar levels went down either way. However, green tea in this paper did not lower fasting insulin levels or insulin resistance or hemoglobin A1C levels. So this paper is a bit of a mixed bag. This paper likewise noted that green tea could reduce fasting blood sugar levels, but it appeared to have no effect on fasting insulin or hemoglobin A1C levels. Although they do point out in this paper that they were analyzing short-term studies and that longer-term investigations would be needed to better understand what's going on with the insulin and the hemoglobin A1C. And now to make things even more complicated, we have this paper where it was noted that green tea had no impact on blood sugar or insulin, insulin resistance, or hemoglobin A1C levels in people who had diabetes. So that's odd. And then to make things even more stranger, we have this paper where it was found that people who drank green tea actually had an increased risk of getting type two diabetes. Now, even though this paper is a pretty large investigation, I'm gonna discount it because it tends to go against a lot of the other findings out there. So green tea has a whole bunch of healthy benefits in the body, but when it comes to lowering blood sugar and helping diabetes, I think we need more evidence to get a better idea of what's going on. That said, if you have diabetes, it may be wise to drink some green tea anyway to get the other health benefits. So did green tea help your diabetes? Definitely leave a comment below and let me know what happened. Until next time, I am Joe from supplementclarity.com. Take care.